I'm um, Andrea Copeland, uh, and I'm married to Andre Copeland. Uh, and in um, June of 2013, Andre suffered a ruptured brain aneurysm. My name is Andre Copeland. I'm a native Washingtonian, and I have my caregiver back here as Amadou. He takes care of me. He gets me up, washes me, feeds me, and takes care of me because I had a brain aneurysm. My name is Amadou K. Kabo. I'm the caregiver for Mr. Andre Copeland. I'm here to help him on his um, recovering. I'm here since April. 2013. Um, actually, I'm just a caregiver. By the grace of God, I promise to do my duty to the best of my ability. My name's Ariel and I am the daughter of Andre and Andrea Copeland. About two and a half years ago, I guess, he had a, um, a brain aneurysm and he's been recovering from that. Uh, ever since. He wasn't expected to live. Uh, he was in a coma for the first three days, but then mirac miraculously he um, began to show signs of neurological responsiveness. And it's been a long, slow process with a lot of complications, but he's getting better and, and we're all very excited about that. In the beginning, he, he well, it didn't. It didn't look good. Like he was, he was in the nursing home, and that was kind of grim. Um, but ever since he's come home, it just seems like he's really livened up a lot. Um, probably because it's just a much more comfortable environment for him. So it's it's been good that he's home. Since the day I came here, I talked to the family. Let's work together, and um, they are doing very good cooperation with me. Of course, Mr. Andre is ready to come back to his normal life. So we all agree, said, well, we put a plan. We are working on a plan. Since the day we started the plan, I thank God I got a good cooperation from this family. So I promise to do the best of anything that I could do just to improve this young man. Uh, Mr. Amadou is really great for my dad. He. Um is really concerned for him and he you know he's he's not just like doing it for the money or whatever he really cares and he's really invested in seeing my dad improve so I really appreciate that. Um, I Care has been a great organization. Uh, um, Amadou has been wonderful. Uh, Amadou, he keeps me busy even though I do want to go to bed. He puts it on my feet and I uh, Go for like a bike ride, nowhere in the house. I do punch in every once in a while, uh -huh. but I don't try to, try not to hit anybody. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Which is better, your left or your right? My right hand. I'm right hand. Mm -hmm. Blow like a butterfly, sting like a bee? No, I'm not that good. <laughs> One thing I like Mr. Copeland is family all love him and they show interest compared with other families that I've worked with. Their family is so lovely, they are so loving, and the wife and the children, they are all so lovely. So like, I just take the house like my home, because I'm not doing it like I'm working, I just take it like, a, like my home, and I accept Mr. Copeland like a family to work together. My ideal goal for my dad would be for things to get back to like as close to normal as possible. We have a visiting nurse who comes once a month, uh, and her name is Marsha, and she is very attentive. She keeps track of how Andre's doing. When, when she knows that he has a goal that he's trying to reach, she follows up and she always remembers it, and she asks him how he's doing with it, and she tells, uh, she says encouraging things to, to me, and I know early on when we really weren't sure where we were going to end up, uh, she would say, I think next month he'll be upstairs, or I think next month he'll be walking across the floor. So, so she, she's encouraging. So um, I care has just been wonderful. Um, and when people ask me about home health agencies, I, I always give them I care's name because I've been very pleased with them. I mean, normally we take challenge 
Challenge is our, our program, it's our project. Anything he wants, we take a challenge. So if he say he want to do this, I ask him to do this. So now he's telling me like, he likes to go to McDonald. I said, well, if you want to go to McDonald, I don't want to take you to McDonald. So you should work harder so you could drive and go to McDonald. So that's what he's planning now, that he could drive at any time and go to McDonald because I don't want to take him to McDonald. His wife don't want to take him to McDonald. His children don't want to take him to McDonald. So he has to work harder to go to McDonald. That's the plan that he, he has right now in his head. Normally I avoid places like McDonald's, but if my dad wanted to go, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely go there with him. His first target, he wants to come upstairs to open his presents. Because he told me, he said, every year we got presents upstairs. I said, okay, then, that was on um, September. I said, then, if you want to go open your presents, you want somebody to open your present, then let's start work on Every day, I'm going to do work with him on the stairs. Uh, he would have him do one step at a time. So the first, first week, he did one step, and then he would go back down. Second week, two steps, and he would go back down. And our goal was, that, was to have Andre upstairs for Christmas that year. So we start little by little, moving from his chair, come to the stairs, watch his stairs, go back to his chair, then one step, then we started going two step, we go down, every day we're walking on one step. Amadou got him upstairs. Uh, two days before Christmas, he showed me that he had Andre up at the top of the stairs, and he would have Andre sit at the top of the steps. So he told Andre, you can't go up there. You can't go out onto the floor until Christmas Day. Till finally, Christmas Day, we come upstairs, and he was up. In fact, he didn't want to go down <laughs> the whole day. So on Christmas Day, Andre stepped onto the um, floor uh, and um, it, it was just huge. So, so that day, of course, it, it was the biggest Christmas gift we could ever have hoped to have had. Um, last Christmas uh, was really enjoyable because he, he did come up the stairs for the first time and he was able to like sit in the living room with us where the Christmas tree was uh, for the first time in two years. <laughs> because like for some two or two years, he never come upstairs. So when he come upstairs Christmas Day, he was happy. You will see the smile and the happiness in his face.